Hey guys, so I've received a few requests asking me to build a dashboard from scratch. So walking through the entire process on how I pull together a data set, how I clean it up, how I prepare it, and then load it into Power BI and build a quick dashboard in let's say 10 or 15 minutes, right? So how do I go through the entire process of putting something presentable? So that's what I want to do today. I have links in the description on where I pulled the raw data and any of the other materials that we're going to need to do this. So if I were you, I'd open up a blank Power BI file and follow along and let's get started. All right, so first things first, what we're going to do is you're going to open up a blank Power BI file. Okay, so you're aware that we're all starting in the same spot here. And the next thing what you're going to do is you're going to follow the links that I have to go get the raw data. So. The GitHub link will take you to this page here where we're gonna go pick up this raw file or this raw data that is all Pokemon data. So just so you can see it, I have a blank notepad plus plus here, right? So this is Pokemon data, the number of the Pokemon, the name, uh, some of the attributes, uh, and then some it looks like other attribute stats and then numbers that are assigned to them. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to copy this over into a blank Excel sheet. And because this is in a CSV format, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go text the columns. It's delimited and we're going to do it by comma. Nothing needs to be text or any other sort of format. So we're just going to finish. And there we go. Now we got to clean up our data a little bit before we start moving into Power BI. So what I want to do is the first thing is I only want to work with the original 150 Pokemon. That's because that's what I'm familiar with. I don't really care to look past that. So the remainder 634, we're going to go ahead and delete. Uh, we don't really care for generation because the original 150 are all generation one. So we're going to go ahead and remove that column. And then we're left with this. Now, one thing that I noticed about this data set is it includes these, it doesn't just include Charizard, it includes like Charizard X, Charizard Y, all these mega characters. So what I wanna do is I wanna be able to remove those as well. So I'm gonna write a formula real quick. It's gonna say if this number equals this number here, then return a problem. Right, so these are the duplicates. Otherwise, uh, I guess just return like a space. So I'm gonna copy this formula all the way down. I'm gonna copy and paste it as values. And I'm gonna replace all the spaces with nothing. Okay, so as soon as we run into a problem, we're gonna delete that row. Right, because the original one is the first record and then the other ones seem to be like some sort of duplicate or extra Pokemon. So this Mega Blastoise. At the end of this, we want to be left with 150. And if you're including Mew, then you want to be left with 151. And remember, we're trying to do this in quick time. Get a, get a dashboard up and running pretty quick. So, but we first got to clean our data. So here we go. Yep, Mega Kangaskhan has got to go. Mega Pinsir has got to go. Gyarados. It's Mega Aerodactyl. And then these Mewtwo's. Okay, so 151. If we look at our count down here, 151. So that's pretty good. So this, I think this is ready to move into Power BI. There is one thing that I want to add, however, and that's when I look at my data, when I wanna slice it, I wanna be able to visually see the image of these Pokemon, right? And so what I want is a link that takes me to the image so that I can use this image. So we're gonna do, we're just gonna name this column picture. And if you go to the other link that's down in the description, I'm gonna take you to right here. So this pokemon.com Pokedex, this is where we're gonna pull the images from. And remember, we wanna do this as quick as possible. I only have a limited amount of time that I promised to do this dashboard in. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna inspect the page. I'm gonna see where these images come from. 
So if I go right here, right, it's covering that section. I'm going to go to where we cover the full thing again, right, results. And there's the first one is this Bulbasaur here. So where is the image? The image is right here under figure, Bulbasaur. And this is what I want. So this is the image URL here. So I'm going to, I guess, copy element. Let me go into Notepad remove our raw data that I just worked on copy this here okay so it looks like our image is in this format so if I attempt this here this should take me to Bulbasaur and there we go so I know that this works so I'm gonna copy this go back into our Excel sheet and I'm gonna go equals and then in quotations I'm gonna paste and then close it now the one thing though is in order for me to do this for every Pokemon right because the last thing I want to do is go, be going back and forth between this page, going to number, let's see, Pokemon number 10, Caterpie, and then grabbing each one, copy, paste, copy, paste. So we're going to do this all in Excel. So we're going to break this string apart here. We're going to do this and percent sign, another one, and in between here is where our Pokemon number is going to go. But... If you remember, this isn't just 10, this is 0, 1, 0. And Bulbasaur wasn't just 1, it was 0, 0, 1. So it looks like because we're working in the hundreds, we got to be three digits long. So that's what we're going to do in our Excel sheet. So, you know, we could write a formula to do it, but I'm just going to do 0, 0 and drag this down through the first nine. And then once we get to 10, what I'm going to do is just remove one zero and then drag this down until we get to 99. And then once we get to 100, we're going to remove the last zero and then we can copy this all the way down. So these should be the images of our Pokemon. And if we want to test one out, maybe we test Magikarp. We should just be able to copy this go into here, paste it, hit enter, and there's magic card. I'm gonna assume it's gonna work for the rest, and if, if not, then we'll be able to tell that once we get into Power BI. So this is ready to go. So I'm gonna save this file. Uh, let's just work out of our desktop for now. And in our desktop, I'm just gonna create a new folder, Pokemon Dashboard. Okay, raw, or just data. It's gonna be our data file. Hit save, good to go. Jump back into our Power BI. We're gonna, you can go to import from Excel. You can also click here. Uh, let's go into our desktop, Pokemon dashboard, click on data. We're gonna hit okay. Now the first thing that I wanna do once this is loaded is I wanna make sure Okay, this all looks good. I want to make sure that my image is loaded correctly. That's because that, that kind of adds a little bit of flavor to my dashboard. It's not just going to be a, a blank dashboard with us. Like, for example, if I create this slicer here, right, this is going to be my Pokemon slicer. I don't just want to put name and then be like, oh, let me go to Charmeleon and filter by Charmeleon or Dragonair. So, I mean, that, that seems a little boring right that's why I wanted to use the image so if I go back here instead of name we're gonna to go to our picture now our picture right now is a raw URL so what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna click picture and under your data category you're gonna to wanna to click image URL bam there we go so now you can see we have the image of our Pokemon now this could be sorted randomly so let's remove this title first of all this slicer header this could be sorted randomly. To make sure it's sorted correctly, click on picture and you're gonna sort by column number. Okay, that way it's sorted by this number column here. Where is our one? There we go. It's sorted by one, two, three, four, right? You wanna make sure it's sorted correctly. So these should all be sorted correctly. I want to run through it real quick just to make sure I don't have any broken links or images. 
but it looks like it captured all of these correctly just with the formula that we used in Excel right no broken links everything shows up so it looks like we're good to go so that's gonna be our slicer uh, maybe just to add some flavor to this slicer I'm gonna add a shadow remove the background so add this pretty cool shadow here all right so let's get started on building graphs now this this isn't gonna be an intro to Power BI tutorial this is just gonna be you know a quick 10 15 minute dashboard so if you go over here to visualizations this is where our graphs are I'm gonna click this bar graph here clustered sure clustered all right so the first maybe attribute that I want to look at is just if you go back and we look at our data here right what, are, what sort of attributes can we analyze we can al analyze the HP the attack the defense special attack special defense their speed whether they're legendary or not and then it looks like there's a total column here that summarizes all of these attributes so maybe we're interested in looking at the total like right which are the most strongest Pokemon so we're gonna go into our values we're gonna use total and we want this to be a sum which is correct I guess I mean there's just one row per Pokemon and then in our legend we want to use the Pokemon name oh sorry in our axis we're gonna move this to our axis so now we have Pokemon total I think this is already sorted descending by total so it has our strongest Pokemon all the way down to the weakest one which is looks like Weedle or Caterpie but we also want to be able to bring in our data labels so we're gonna go here to the paintbrush data labels we're gonna turn those on that looks a little messy so we want to fix that so the first thing we want to do is we're gonna position these vertical that looks kinda of clean maybe a little bit messy at the top so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna position these inside the center of our bar graph that looks better there and we're gonna make these white okay so now if I go to the bottom I can see that Caterpie and Weedle are actually tied for the weakest Pokemon there isn't a weakest there's just a tie for the weakest and then in terms of our strongest ones there's just you know Mewtwo and Mewtwo is far stronger than the other two, which are Dragonite and Mew down there. So this is pretty good. Uh, let's make sure our slicer works. Actually, next thing I want to just turn off the background because I want to I want to bring that shadow in. I like that shadow. So we're going to bring that in and maybe just bring this in a little bit. Uh, if we want to clean this up, then let's let's just do that now. Actually, so on our x-axis, we don't care for the name because we can tell that we're looking at the Pokemon name. So we're going to remove the title and it adds some space and then same thing we don't care for the y-axis because we already have the data labels it looks a little cluttered so first thing you want to do is remove the title and then remove the axis there alright this looks a little bit cleaner and then our title we want to do uh, total Pokemon score or something and there it is now let's make sure our slicer works. So one of the one of the first, I guess, sort of questions that you encounter when you know playing Pokemon, the trading card game, or Pokemon. Uh, for me, I grew up on Pokemon Red and Blue on the Game Boy. The first thing you do is you you choose a starter Pokemon, right? And it's between Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. So it would be nice to know which of these three is the strongest. So I can filter down to Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. And if we look here in terms of total Pokemon score, Bulbasaur is the strongest, right? So Bulbasaur total score of 318, Squirtle 314, and Charmander 309. But you're going to say, but Victor, hold on. I thought, you know, everyone wants to get that Charizard because it's the strongest card. And that might be true, right? These attributes may change as the Pokemon evolve. So where Bulbasaur is at the top, let's see how the evolution versions fair so Venusaur Charmeleon and War Turtle it looks like these are all even in terms of total score all right and then it might be different once we get to Charizard Venusaur and Blastoise and that's where you get sort of the Charizard takes over right and Bulbasaur who was the strongest at first uh, now falls 
in last in terms of these three, right? The Venusaur Evolution is a little bit weaker in terms of total score than the Blastoise and the Charizard. But right now we're just making sure the slicer works, which it looks to be working. So let's go back out to all of them and let's create some more attributes. Right? All right, what else do we have to work with? Let's go look at our data. So we have type and this looks like a pretty good column. It looks like this is filled for every Pokemon. Every Pokemon has at least a type one. So maybe we want to see out of the original 150, which type has the most Pokemon in it. So for that, I'm going to go over here and grab this, uh, looks like tree map. We're going to move this, oops, sorry about that. We're going to move this tree map to cover maybe half the page here. Okay, so we want to group things by, let's go with type one. And then maybe in terms of value, we want the number of Pokemon. So let's just take name in there and make sure that's a count, which it is. And we want to be able to see the data labels. So we're going to turn these on. So you're going to see the Pokemon type, right? Remove the background and title Pokemon count by type. All right, in the original 150, we're going to see that water is the most popular Pokemon type. There's 28 water Pokemon, 22 normal, 14 poison, and so on. So I didn't realize, you know, I thought maybe fire would be up here, right? Or, or rock or ground or electric, but actually poison is. And so I'm curious to know which Pokemon are the 14 poison Pokemon. So what you can do is you can click on here and you can see it'll kind of filter this out. So Nidoqueen, Nidoqueen, uh, Muck, Weezing, Golbat, Arbuck, the Nidorinos and Nidorina, Coughing, Grimer, and you know, Zubat, Nidorand, and Ekans. So those are the poison. You know, you can also filter out if you wanted to see maybe what makes up the dragon. You can see Dragonite, uh, Dragonair, and then Dratini, so just those three. You know, the bug, fire, etc. So this is kind of cool to see. Uh, out of our original 150, you know, water is the most popular type of Pokemon. Okay, and then last, we want to add something else down here, another maybe table. So we're going to bring in the table, and maybe this is where we actually want to compare the other attributes, right? We have the total score, and we talked about comparing, you know, Bul the elementary Pokemon, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle, and we said, you know, Bulbasaur, at least the starter version, is stronger than the other two. But that's in terms of total score. You know, what if you're going for defense specifically, or what if you're going for a Pokemon that's strong at first, right? A strong attack. Uh, so that's where we want to compare the other attributes. So we're going to pull in, let's just pull in na maybe name. We want to pull in all of the attributes, attack, defense, uh, HP, maybe HP is important. Let's put that up here. Uh, special attack, special defense, and speed. And then at the very end, I guess we can put the total. Um, and then to sort of change this up so it's not just a standard looking table, let's bring in our picture. And there we go. So we have the picture. Uh, I guess we can bring in Pokemon number two just to sort of add to this. And let's sort these by Pokemon number. Just to make sure everything looks good, right? Bulbasaur. Uh, Ivysaur, Venusaur, etc. Pokemon's one, two, three, four. Let's remove the totals though, because I don't think we need the totals. I always turn off the background and let's clean up the totals there. It gives more space. And that looks pretty good. We can kind of space some of these out if we needed to. There we go. So now we have a pretty simple graph built in a pretty short amount of time but it looks pretty informative, all right? Let's go back to looking at Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. We said Bulbasaur overall, right, 318, has a higher score, but we're concerned with which Pokemon has the strongest attack of these three. So we can look here, you can even sort it by attack if you wanted to. Charmander actually ranks the highest in attack, all right? So where's, you know, what attribute does Squirtle have then? Because, you know, Squirtle seems to always be in the middle. 
where it looks like Squirtle ranks really high in defense. So the defense is 65 compared to Bulbasaur and Charmander. All right, so there's Squirtle at the top of defense. Uh, which one has the most HP? Well, there's Bulbasaur again. Uh, and which Pokemon is the fastest? It looks like Charmander, followed by Bulbasaur and Squirtle. You know, Squirtle really seems to be towards the middle or towards the very end. Um, except for that defense. It's got a really, really high defense. And let's still sort this back by number. Okay, so we talked about, you know, maybe Charizard being the final evolution that's the strongest one. But what attributes do the other three have that maybe are better than Charizard if you weren't looking at just, uh, you know, total score? Well, we can see, let's see, Venusaur has a really low defense. Blastoise actually ranks the highest in defense. But Venusaur has, let's see, what, what does it have that's maybe higher than the rest? It's got higher HP. Um, we talked about Charizard having the highest attack. It's got the middle defense. You know, Charizard, while it has a high attack, it actually has the weakest defense of the other three Pokemon. So if that's important as you're playing the Game Boy version or something, um, then you want to look at those things. And then we can always just back out and look at everything. So which Pokemon do you guess? Right, We can see that Mewtwo has the strongest overall attribute score. But maybe which Pokemon do you think has the highest attack? All right, now without looking at this, my initial guess is going to be, uh, we know Charizard's kind of high, but maybe Dragonite, that's going to be my guess. That was a pretty good guess. I swear I haven't looked at this data before. So there we have Dragonite. Uh, maybe in terms of hit points, I know based on the card, Chansey and uh, maybe Snorlax have really high HP. Chansey and Snorlax, I swear I'm guessing. I, I swear I haven't looked at this. All right, in terms of defense, um, I mean, we saw Venusaur had a high defense. Uh, maybe maybe some of the rock Pokemon like Graveler, Rhydon. Let's go look at that. So Cloyster, Onix, uh, Golem, Rhydon. So somewhat accurate on some of these. Maybe special attack, maybe this is, you know, where's Mewtwo? We said Mewtwo has the highest attributes, but we haven't really seen him in HP or was he in attack? Yeah, I mean, he's not even really up here in terms of that. So what is Mewtwo high in? Let's try to figure this out. Special attack, 154. Is he up there in special defense? No. Nope. What about speed? Well, it's kind of up there in speed, right? I'm surprised Electrode is the fastest Pokemon in terms of speed. So Mewtwo doesn't necessarily seem to dominate any one thing except for the special attack, which he really dominates. He's really high. It looks like Psychic Pokemon tend to be at the very top, right? Psychic, 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 and then you have Moltres. Um, so Mewtwo doesn't necessarily seem to dominate all of them, but he overall just happens to score the highest, followed by, and then we have the order, Dragonite, Mew, Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos, etc. So there you have it. Uh, quick dashboard built. You saw me pull the data. You saw me work with it in Excel, get it into a format that I wanted to. You saw me grab the images from the website and then put this simple but hopefully effective dashboard together in a very short period of time. Uh, I hope this served as an example to you on how you can do this as well with maybe some of your data sets. You know, it doesn't need to be fancy. You can worry about the fancy stuff later. I mean, this is kind of fancy, right? I didn't really need the images. Like we talked about earlier, if I really, really wanted to, we could have just used the Pokemon names instead. But, you know, in a short period of time, I felt like I could have grabbed the images and, and add it, and it adds a little bit of flavor to to the dashboard. So... Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. This was a pretty quick example on how you can take just the raw data, uh, format it, bring it into Power BI, and create something, uh, I think, fairly effective or at least informative for someone. Uh, so thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like and subscribe and help out the Dapper Dash channel. And yeah, talk to you guys later.